I feel like I haven't had like a sit down, like chit chat with you guys in a while. I feel like so many of my recent videos have just been like vlogs or have been busy doing stuff, traveling, which has been super, super fun. But I kind of want to do just like a chill little video at the apartment, talk to you guys, give you some life updates. I've got a haul for ya. So let's just like get into it. Like just two friends catching up. I went back on my channel and rewatched my apartment tour video and I can't believe that I've already been living here and living by myself for almost three months now. So crazy. This whole like living alone journey has been just so interesting to me and I do miss living with Logan a lot. Living alone has been different. It's almost like not what I was expecting. I am such an independent person. I do so many things alone. I don't mind doing things by myself, but living by yourself is like completely different thing and I can't wait to share more about that and just like continue to give you updates as the months go by. It's been great, don't get me wrong, but there is something about living with someone else that, I don't know, it, they equally have like pros and cons. I don't know. All I know is if I didn't have Daphne, I feel like I'd be going crazy because at least I have like something in my apartment to like, to give me like company, I wanna say. And speaking of, she just always has to be like super close when I'm filming. But before I get into the updates on the apartment, I did wanna give you guys a little haul of some things that I got from White Fox. White Fox was kind enough to sponsor this video and I am so excited because I grabbed so many cute pieces that I just know are gonna be staples for the summer. I can't wait and I'm gonna share them with you. Year round, White Fox has amazing pieces that you can style for different seasons, like whether you're going on a trip, a vacation, styling for school, whatever it is. White Fox Boutique also has White Fox Swim and White Fox Active. If you're looking for things for summertime or to wear to the gym, they have you covered. And if you're trying to get certain pieces for a trip, a vacation, a pool party, they have Express Worldwide shipping. So you're able to get what you need just in time for the fun summer activities coming up. And also if you're anything like me and you are a little bit addicted to some online shopping or you need to save some money or you don't have the money in time to buy the things that you are craving online, White Fox offers afterpay to customers in the US, Australia, and New Zealand. That way you can split up the payments, you don't have to take the big hit on your credit card and still get the things that you want. Let's get into the haul though. I have a box of things to share with you guys and I opened the box prematurely to look at everything and I am wearing one of their hoodies right now. This is their offstage hoodie in the color moon. It has this cute little white box logo on the front and they also have this graphic on the back. You guys know I'm a neutral girly through and through. I love my neutrals, I love my simple color scheme. So this hoodie in particular was just calling my name when I saw it on their website. And I didn't expect the inside of the hoodie to be as soft as it is, but it is super buttery soft. It almost like feels like a blanket on the inside. Okay, moving on. This one I'm really excited about. This is going to be perfect for summertime. I got their Meet Again midi dress in black. It has a slit on the side. I feel like this is just like a great staple for summer. I love having like a good go-to just like quick slip on dress in the summertime. Surprisingly, it's actually pretty thick for a dress, but I have a feeling it's gonna be super lightweight though when I wear it. It's a little bit fitted, but it also has like a really good stretch too. Love stretch. I, I do not wear super tight bodycon, no give clothes. So a little stretch we love. Another super cute little bodysuit corset top that I got from White Fox is this no looking back bodysuit. It has like this nude base on it, like the shell underneath is nude, but then it has like these white little polka dots on it. I thought it was super cute. Again, I'm picturing this with cute linen pants, even like high-waisted jeans, like lighter denim jeans would be super cute. Again, I am so happy that when I ordered these, they all have give to them. They have stretch. They're not this like super tight, taut material that I'm just going to absolutely suffer in and also there is stretch around like the bra cup area which is good for anybody that has a little bit of a larger chest and again coming in clutch with the adjustable straps because you know maybe you have a short torso like me and you need the straps to be nice and high maybe you have a longer torso and you need to elongate the shoulder straps it's perfect. Next, I got their Live It Up linen pants. One thing about me is I love a linen pant. I think I have like a black, white, and I think a green pair. So having White Fox add to my collection in a nice like beige neutral color, again, neutral queen. It has an elastic waistband with the drawstring, which I love. I feel like I can wear these high-waisted or just a little bit lower if I want. I'm picturing myself wearing this with like a crop top, a corset in the summer with cute little sandals, sunglasses on my head, a little drink in my hand. I know 
know you can picture it because so can I. Speaking of cute tops that I can wear with the linen pants, I have these two corset tops. These are the out of focus bustier corset tops. I'm really picky when it comes to crop tops and corset tops because of my like naturally kind of boxy frame. Knowing that these have a nice stretchy give to them means the world to me because I know I'm gonna be comfortable in this and I'm not gonna be like super uncomfortable with just nothing but tightness. So I really appreciate that these corset tops have that give and the adjustable straps as well, chef's kiss. So I got one in black and then I also got this really pretty brown one that is their chocolate color. They both are super soft and they have this nice little mesh material on the outside. Super lightweight, great for summer. Okay, I think this is the last bodysuit that I ordered, but I'm obsessed with bodysuits. They are just so flattering and I love them. This is their Keep You Around bodysuit in a gorgeous slate color. It's coming up a little bit more blue on camera, but in person it's definitely like that smoky gray blue slate color. I am obsessed. Every so often I'll do something low cut like that other bodysuit, but I do just like at the end of the day, I love a good little high neck almost like a mock neck but not quite it has a really silky soft like almost stretchy spandexy material these next two items are not necessarily like a matching set but i kind of put them together to be like a little cute matching set moment these are the offstage ribbed bike shorts in an amazon color just like a super bright green color just something different for me and just a matching top to kind of go with that green color scheme this is the offstage oversized tee in glacier gray again with just the plain white fox logo and the green biker shorts to go with it i think this is a super cute combo i still love this combo so much i'm not really a big fan of denim shorts so any chance i get to wear biker shorts and an oversized tee biker shorts and a hoodie Sign me up, I love it. I think it's such a great combination. It's comfortable, it's cute. I, there's nothing more to say about it. Okay, I know I keep saying I'm a huge fan of neutral colors. Every so often I will go out of my comfort zone, I'll get something colored, but these sunglasses are so freaking cute. Green sunglasses, they're not normally something that I would add to my cart, but these are just so adorable, I just couldn't help it. I don't know, there's just something about them that are like fun and different. These are the Kaya sunglasses in a matcha color. Big fan, the green is just like really fun. So many of my sunglasses already are that like the brown and black like tortoise shell. I just have plain black sunglasses. I was like, you know what? I don't have green sunglasses. Adding these to the collection, obsessed. Now for an actual matching set, these I cannot be more excited for. When I tell you the comfiest, coziest, softest matching set ever, this is it. This is the best of both oversized sweater in the sage green color and the matching shorts that are the along for the ride lounge shorts. In love with this color so much. I'm gonna be absolutely living in this matching set this summer. This is just like the comfiest vibe ever. And the last item that I got from White Fox, you wouldn't think that like a leather blazer would be appropriate for summer. But thinking like late night out with your friends, going to a bar, getting some drinks, or even just like transitioning it and wearing it into the fall or even the winter. This is their take the lead blazer. It's like a super cute leather jacket. Although it's not real leather, which is like totally fine with me. I'm not really into the authentic leather vibe. It's actually just polyester. It's giving like chic, cute, leather jacket like bad bitch vibes i don't know there's just something about a leather jacket i feel like they just last so long in a person's closet so i'm really really happy with how this little leather faux leather jacket turned out i feel like this would be so cute with that little corset top that i showed earlier and like a skirt or something I love this. Huge thank you to White Fox for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to shop any of the pieces that I shared or anything else on their website, you can use code Kayla Nelson and that will save you 15% off site-wide. Thank you, White Fox, for spicing up my summer wardrobe. Okay, now to show you guys some updates to the apartment. They're really small, but I want to share them and then we will make the way to the closet so I can show you my organizational situation in there. First little update is at my work computer here in the corner. I decided to leave my desk in the living room instead of moving it to my bedroom, but I moved my live on air sign up onto the wall. I just hung it up there. I think it's super cute to be above the computer and my mic stand where I record my podcast. And to the side of the desk, I got this super narrow fabric drawer organizer. I obviously don't have enough storage in this desk. Like this is too small. It just holds like pen and pencils and stuff. So I wanted a place to put some of my like camera equipment, phone chargers, um, like different lighting and equipment and podcasting stuff. So I got this little skinny organ, 
skinny, little skinny organizer that fits right in this corner here perfectly. Um, I'm still working on organizing it all the way. I kind of like that it's more discreet in the corner, so I love it. As we make our way down this long hallway, I did decide to put this cat painting that I got at TJ Maxx on the wall. I'm obsessed with it. It's like one of the first things you kind of see when you walk in. I just think it's super cute. It also looks like Daphne. It just has like, she has a very similar coat. And you know what? I decided to hang it right here. I don't care if it's tacky. I don't care if it is like too small per se for this wall. I love it. The little coat and storage closet that is right next to the door when you walk in. I have this fairly organized as well. I don't think I showed this during the initial tour. So what I did was I hung up some of these little over the door hooks just to put some of my cleaning supplies. Like I had nowhere else to put like my broom, my Swiffer, my mop, things like that. I decided to put all of my actual coats and jackets here in the closet instead of in my actual closet. So like my puffer jackets, leather jackets, blazers, things like that. All of my holiday decor stuff is up here in these plastic bins. I got this wrapping paper organizer from Amazon. It's just a really nice clear like zipped bag that I can store like the long tubes of wrapping paper in. Highly recommend. Perfect for a storage closet. Also got this little hanging organizer as well from Amazon. Right now it just has like random things in it. Like I have a ton of Swiffer pads for some reason. I don't know how I collected so many. I also have a random electrical drill that I have. So it's perfect. I like the half storage because underneath that is my shoe rack. Kind of hard to see, but back there I have a shoe rack. This was at one point in my closet, but again, it took up space. I don't share this place with anybody else now. So I figured it was fine just to move my shoes into the bottom part of this closet. So again, that half little hanging organizer is perfect for this. Daphne loves to be nosy. I have my vacuum in here. I'm still working on some shoe organization, as you can tell. And in here is just a toolbox that I got, my dad got me for Christmas. So yes, this is the little coat closet storage closet, junk closet, whatever you wanna call it, right when you walk in. When I did my actual apartment tour, I did not have a nightstand yet. I did like a photo insert and was like, this is one I got off Amazon, but this is it in person. It's exactly the perfect height. It's got like just perfect space. It's everything that I needed. I also really like this wicker detail to it. It has a little pull out drawer for the top. So I just have like a lot of my like chapsticks and things like, I don't know, lip masks, scrunchies, things like that. And then down here, you would think that this is a pullout, but it kind of comes to the side like this. Down here, I just keep like some books, journals, my Kindle. Um, I'm still working on like organizing this, to be honest. I still have like a lot of <laughs> random stuff in the corner here. Um, so yeah, still working on organizing that, but having a little nightstand, is the best. It's very bland and boring on top. As you can tell, I don't have any decor or anything. So still working on that, but I do love this little nightstand, this little bedside table. I think I did show this over the door organizer on the apartment tour video, but this thing has been amazing. Again, is like a space saver. This isn't like a very big area compared to my last apartment. So getting this little hanger has just been amazing. I have like my laundry detergents. I need to find a place for the steamer because it doesn't really fit there, but you know, whatever. Um, I have my dryer balls in here. And then I also decided to get a little laundry, dirty laundry hamper because the other laundry hamper that I had just like didn't fit anywhere in my apartment and I didn't want to like leave it out for something to look at. So I bought this little tiny one off of Amazon. It fits perfectly in this small space and I'm able just to like throw all my dirty clothes in there and immediately transfer it into the washer and dryer as needed. And it's just like out of the way. It's a little like canvas laundry bag. I don't know. And for the closet, it is nothing like super special, but I'm very proud of how I organized this small space. If you have been around since my last apartment, then you would know that this looks Daphne Marie, are you kidding? Excuse me. Hey, what are you doing? Should I allow it? I'll allow it, whatever. We're gonna ignore that. Anyways, if you were around on my channel for my last apartment when I decided to reorganize and redecorate, I decided to buy this cube organizer from Target and then I just bought these like little wire storage bins to organize socks, bra, underwear, tank tops, leggings, things like that. It has been such a great space saver. So in this little spot, I decided to put all of my dresses, skirts, rompers, things like that. So these are all just like organized right here. I feel like it's a perfect spot because otherwise it would have been like empty space. I still, this is like cracking me up. 
<laughs> she just like loves it up there apparently. And this I am the most proud of. At my last apartment, I had no idea what to do with my jeans and pants because I got rid of my Ikea dresser and my Ikea dresser had a lot of my pants in them. I found this really cool TikTok hack. It's a really basic way of folding your jeans and then using like one of the belt loops to hang it on a hanger and it makes storage and organization just so easy. Like I'm literally obsessed with this technique. Now I can see like all of my pants, all of my jeans at a glance. It's nice and organized. It's color coded if you can tell. And nothing super duper exciting or fancy for the bathroom. Ignore this is like a huge mess right now. I got this really pretty painting again from TJ Maxx. Like huge win with the art there. I just really liked it. It's just like a line silhouette of a woman. I like it. She's not clothed and it's in a bathroom where you don't wear clothes, you know, when you shower and stuff. Also, I think it's really beautiful. I love line art. I think it's really cool and I like how it looks in the bathroom. So it's just on this wall. You can see it in the reflection. You can see it when you walk in. Come here, you little stinker. Say hi, vlog. She's just not feeling it right now. That pretty much wraps it up for apartment updates and things that I wanted to share with you guys. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Remember to go easy on yourself and I'll see you in the next video.